I'll be building everybody up mm. to the exciting moment where I put this question to you. Did you ever get jiggy with Anton Dubeck? Oh, don't be silly. I mean, the point is, he was in it for the dancing, I was in it for the fun and the relaxation, uh, and that's what Strictly is supposed to be about. And there is no such thing, Piers, as the curse of Strictly. It isn't some hex which makes people behave that way. Uh, it's their own lack of self-control. So how did you manage to exercise such self-control when you're da dancing so closely with such a handsome man for eight hours a day? <laughs> 20 years younger than me, spare us, Piers, and stop talking rot. Because you're physically very intimate with each other. Mm. You're in a training studio for eight to ten hours a day. You're fighting for the same cause. You're on the same team. It's emotional. There's a lot of stardust around it. You know, it, that's quite a lot of self-control to be exercising. Nonsense. Look, you know when you go on that that is the situation you're going to be in. If you can't handle that, then when the agent says to you, we've got a bid from Strictly, say no thanks. It really is as simple as that. But even Jeremy Vine... I understand Vine. what the... Even Jeremy Vine... I'm <laughs> sorry to interrupt you, Anne. Oh, my God. I, I thought Susanna's eye roll was bad. That was a shocker. You got the death uh, there, then. Even Jeremy Vine, who was very happily married, he admitted that because of the intimacy of all the rehearsing and stuff, that even he felt a little frisson, you know, a little something. Mm. I mean, did you never get anything like that? About, about which he did nothing. And that is the whole point. It's how people behave which counts. Uh, you, you know, but, I mean, this is a silly conversation. It, it, it wasn't what I was told this was oh, going to be about. No, you're right, but it, it, it is well, I, I think, the I, essence of the whole problem, Yeah, the whole... Problem, I think, let's bring in Mark Foster. <laughs> look, I, mean, I think... The, look, I, don't, I don't think it's a silly conversation in the sense that a lot of people think there is an issue now with the Strictly curse. Apparently, that some actually... male celebrities aren't doing it because right. partners say, I don't want you uh, up against a, an attractive... I mean, Jeremy Vine, in his comments on his show, mm. said, you're effectively dancing with a goddess. What wife wants you to be dancing with a well, goddess? Well, I guess from a, from a partner's point of view, if, if, that, if that's... If you don't have any trust in your relationship, first of all, then mm. or there's cracks that possibly could appear in your relationships, then you shouldn't do it in the first place. Mm. Um, no, I mean, the bottom, it's, Anne's right, it's about self-control first and foremost. Um, but you do spend an awful lot of time with the other person. But then again, I don't know, if, if it's, I could say it's a dance competition, but at the same time, and that's what people... I don't people vote on the dancing? I think Isn't dancing in the, the end quite a sexual thing, though? Isn't intimate dancing with a member of the opposite sex actually... Or a member of the same sex? Uh, isn't it intimate enough where it becomes a sexual thing? I think the bottom line is, in the workplace every day, whether it be here on the studio... I, I don't know how you keep your hands off this man here anyway. Exactly! Um, but, exactly! Or in the workplace, people have temptation in front of them all the time. It's whether you do something about it or not. So, Anne Did you it... feel anything when you were dancing on the show? I think you do get very, very close. Obviously, absolutely nothing happens. You're absolutely right. It's about... Discipline and self-control, and ultimately, it's you know you, you're, you're there to do a show. job. You're there to do a job, which is put a yeah. performance on on Saturday night, and hopefully make it through to next week. That was but, my, my yeah, absolutely. Let me just bring back Anne. And um, I hope this question uh, passes the uh, approved test. But mm. should should they be should they be dropped? Should they be sacked before Saturday, or by letting them dance again? Is the BBC basically sanctioning their their Lots behavior? Lots of self-control. Well, I have to say that if I had been uh, Catcher's husband, I would have just demanded that she left the show uh, for the rest of this series. I would have said, I can't trust you now, uh, you've got to leave the show. Um, given that uh, he hasn't taken that line and given that they've decided to go on dancing, it's now very much down to the viewers. And it is perfectly valid for the viewers to say, well, you know, I was going to vote for them, uh, but I think now I won't because, you know, I don't want to watch this for the next uh, however many weeks it is. Interestingly, Mark, 67% uh, of Good Morning Britain viewers say they will not vote, actually, mm -hmm. for them Mm -hmm. Saturday. So there may well be that, although they'd be given a stay of execution by the BBC, yep. that the viewers themselves apply their own courtroom uh, judgment and kick them out on Saturday. And it is, it is, it's, it's, it's down to the public, ultimately. I mean, the judges have their say on the dancing element, but the public will vote on who they think should be into the final and the dance-off. I did think this, and I don't know, I might be thinking stupidly, but how good a dancer is he? Mm. How long will he stay in the show for? So is it? I'm not saying it's a publicity stunt because I don't think it is. I don't think he's that harsh. But 
He's probably getting more publicity from this than these. Right, I didn't know he was involved in this. That's true, but... You know, taking part in Strictly, you want lots of goodwill and true. popularity. True, true, you true. know, to, in, it, it's it's a tough thing going out on that dance floor. And if you go out on that dance floor in front of 10, 11, 12 million people, yep. and you know that the public is against you, mm. it's not, it's very not nice a very it. nice experience. No, of course is it's it? not. No, well, Charlotte, maybe you can come in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thanks very much. It is hard going out there. I think it is. And I guess it depends, you know, for those people who mm. can act that kind of impression of a, you know, close dance, other people can't do it. It was weird coming here this morning, because actually when I did the show, which was 10 years ago, I was in the studio next door. Right. So I had a bit of a, yeah, I had a bit of a you moment a when I this point. I did, yeah. Mm. I, I, uh, I had the fear. Anne Whitaker, before we let you go, can I have one more of your eye rolls? Because I really, it was quite something, that last one. <laughs> <laughs> Give me strength, I think that one said. You know what, it's always great to have you on the show.